performances of the year. Uh, this performance went to district's competition, uh, performed very well, and they did so well that I wanted them to redo it, and they did it again uh, for me. So they went through and did it twice, and earned it tonight they're going to do it a third time for us. This is Natalie Del Sol and Annie Vardanian performing secondary characters. I bet Brad likes to grow in a dress. 
grabs her boyfriend. He's what they call? Oh, mom! What? Hold on, you have a smudge. Mom! Well, what do you think about this little number? I saw the identical style on 90210. It's <laughs> Pink's her favorite color, but it adds to that pasty complexion she has. No pink. How about yellow or stripes? I hate yellow and I hate stripes. Oh, Chelsea, I don't think you're giving this dress a chance. Hold it up to you. You know what? She's great. She looks terrible in yellow. <laughs> oh, well, this one's simply smashing, baby. It's okay, I guess. Isn't it awfully short? No. Everyone's wearing them short these days. Well, not my daughter. She'll look like an I don't know what in this skimpy thing. <laughs> now show us something a little longer with a higher neckline and sleeves. <laughs> oh, I have just the thing. Flowers! Oh, isn't it charming? It reminds me of the dress I made you on Easter with the little jacket. Mom! No floral, no pink, no stripes. Lace? No lace! Well, I think we'll just get this nice flower dress and you'll change your mind when we get home. I am not gonna wear that thing. Nonsense. Great choice. That would be 75.21 with tax. $75? That dress costs $75? Who would buy a dress that costs $75? I 
If it is, if it is. 
through. They have some stranger talk to me so they don't have to? Well, they can make me go, but they can't make me talk. I don't have to tell this couldn't be real doctor anything. Although, if I wanted to, I could tell it plenty. Like, how my loving parents have been using me as a go-between in their nasty little fights since the time I could talk. How they constantly talk about each other like dogs to me. How they constantly make me feel like I have to choose one over the other. Yeah. They'd be pretty upset if I actually opened up and told this woman all the horrible things they've done. How about that time mom hit dad with the frying pan and he had to get stitches in his head? Or the time dad locked mom out of the house and she had to force the police to let her in? Of course, of course, there's always that fun family vacation we had where they both got mad and left the hotel for five hours. No big deal, right? Except I was only seven years old at the time. Hardly old enough to be left alone. See? Drama, drama. I know. Uh, 